asking why? Why did you bring this on in spring, Damon? Why this did cold I weather. Bring this on? Well, you know, you guys upset me. But, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that front that brought us the yeah. rainfall brought us some some pretty cold air. It was a kind of a cold day yesterday, and it's cold morning uh, this morning. Temperatures are still falling on the North Shore, uh, and this is the view through our One Shell Square camera, and you can see just about see the Superdome there. Skies above the dome are mostly clear this morning as they are across Southeast Louisiana. Uh, let me let me give you a, a feel for uh, your headlines for today. A cold start to the week. You'll definitely notice that as soon as you step out of the door, warmer weather, however, is ahead for the rest of the week and storms are in the forecast as well. And looks like that's going to be on Thursday. But right now the radar picture is nice and clear. It's going to stay that way for the next couple of days. Just to the north of us, the area that you see here in purple, that is where there is a freeze warning in place until 9 a.m. This morning for all those areas, not for us here in southeast Louisiana, but we've got some pretty cold temperatures as well. We also have some dry air at the mid levels and the upper levels, which is going to help to keep our rainfall chances uh, pretty low for the next couple of days and the frontal boundary that's well off to the west of us. Well, that is headed in this direction and that's what's going to bring us the rainfall that I'm expecting on Thursday, but not today. High pressure is in control of our weather. It's going to be that way all day long today. The winds around that higher clockwise, so our winds will be northerly all day long as well, but the high is going to make its way off to the east. Our winds will become southerly once again tomorrow. Notice how much closer the isobars are getting, so the temperature gradient is uh, is uh, getting smaller and smaller, which means the winds are going to be picking up once again uh, late on Tuesday and into your Wednesday when we've got some partly to mostly cloudy skies, a slight chance of rainfall on Wednesday. And then here comes the front that's going to make its way into northern Louisiana early on Thursday and probably bring us showers and storms on Thursday afternoon and into the evening. But right now, 47 degrees at the airport, some mostly clear skies, 48% humidity. That is a great number. The winds out of the north northeast at 17 miles per hour. They've been at about 17 for the last hour. The air quality today in the moderate range at 53. So keep that in mind if you are especially in one of those uh, unusually uh, sensitive groups. You definitely want to keep track of how much you're exerting yourself outdoors. Temperatures, well, I'm thinking by 3 o'clock into the afternoon, your temperature down here on the South Shore up to about 60, maybe 61 or 62 degrees in some parts of the South Shore. On the North Shore, over towards Slidell, your afternoon high looks like it's going to be about 62 degrees. So a cool afternoon afternoon for both the North Shore and the South Shore and the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. If you go into the Tulane baseball game over in Biloxi tomorrow night, that's versus Southern Miss. Kind of cloudy and mild, 69 degrees. And for the Tulane game on Friday, looking pretty good. Some part of cloudy skies and much cooler at 60 degrees. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast. There's the warm up that I've been talking about. 76 by Wednesday, 60% chance of rainfall on Thursday. Cooler once again on Friday. Not a